Alright, quick little detour before I meet you guys in the Temple of Lightning. If you go back to Perseus' house in a set and go talk to this bear thing, you will find a Wonder Chef. I am the mysterious gourmet the Wonder Chef. I shall teach you to make a scrumptious cooked cheese dish known as gratin. Very nice. Learn how to make gratin. Great. One might even say I'm grateful. No. Cheese, pasta, and milk. Acquired ingredients for gratin. Farewell. Very nice. Alright. Now I will see you guys at the Temple of Lightning. Alright, so during a battle on our way here, uh, Sheena gained a Compact X skill, actually, and I changed my on-screen character to Regal, because I've pretty much never played as Regal, so I don't see why not, you know? Variety and all that. So we're gonna have to check out that Compound X skill, I guess. We got in real easy, and I don't see an Oracle Stone anywhere. This is the flourishing world. It probably isn't functioning as a seal right now. This is true. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, this goes in under X skill, yep. Hard hit. Increases the amount of time the enemy staggers when hit with a basic attack. That is actually a pretty freaking good uh, egg compound X skill to have. In my opinion, anyway. And there we go. This is why it's a Temple of Lightning, I'll have you know. Just look at all the different places you'll go. You can move mountains, kid. Okay, no. But let's have a look at some of the enemies we can find here. Of course, everything is going to be lightning basic, except for the gold slime. For, for some reason. I don't know. Don't ask. <laughs> don't ask, because I honestly don't know. That's all I can tell you about that. So these lightning birds, these actually look really cool. I like the lightning effects in this game. For, like, just the particle effects in general. I think they look pretty cool. You know? For a GameCube game, you know, anyway. <laughs> you can't really underestimate the GameCube games. I mean, just look at the water in Super Mario Sunshine. It's great. Also, also, Thunder Sword. Did I know? Did, did, did you know? <laughs> did you know gaming? Thunder Sword. So one fun about thing about Regal, apparently, is that he can use a lot of his arts in different ways. Like, he has an art that, uh... Or an attack, if you will, as they call him in this game. Well, there we go. He has many different ways of attacking. He actually has a pretty good aerial game, if you, so, if you can so say that. Which, you know, pretty much... Oh, do we have to activate all of these? I get. I guess. I don't know. So it pretty much means that he can attack a lot of people in the air, like easier than most, uh, most, uh, most of the other characters, which is pretty cool. Um. So I don't. I don't know what I'm doing in this dungeon. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you right now. Uh, because I have not completed this dungeon in years. But I think. That this shoots electricity bowels. And that's cool. And uh, there's a lot of electricity themed artifacts in here. And I don't know how to move these boxes. I'm completely lost. Perfectly honest. If I use a lot of time to figure out what's going on, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit it out. Just saying right now. But let's hope that doesn't need to happen. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that is going to need to happen, because now we get the Sorcerer's Ring change, which probably means we're going to be able to move those boxes, if my if my calculations are correct. Whoa! Looks like he's shooting on electricity. His electricity is blue. Wow. That's, a, that's an astute observation there, Ms. Rain. Perhaps there is something that can only be destroyed with his electricity. Like those boxes. Maybe we can change the color of electricity. Oh, that would just be silly. Okay, let's see here. Um, alright. That doesn't do anything. Actually, I'm starting to suspect we might be able to change the color of electricity. Maybe. Yeah? Starting to seem like it, because we can't destroy the... We couldn't destroy the yellow boxes. We can only destroy... We can only destroy the... Shit. We can only destroy the blue boxes, but probably also the shit. So one thing I've noticed about my speaking is that I've... Like, I've been trying to clean up this uh, for quite some time. What did I... I completely forgot what I get, got. My goodness. I'm just a mess. Um, 
I've been trying to clean up my speaking patterns, because I have a tendency to speak a little unclear at times. So when I say a little unclear, I mean quite unclear. But that's such a that's such a huge problem, because this is the way I've always spoken English, pretty much. Like, it's it's really hard to clean up, you know? And to enunciate properly, if you will. And, uh, well, you know, I, I, it may not be something you notice, but I notice it every time I edit my videos, and it's like... It just annoys me a bit, you know? Just one of those pet pet peeves, or peeves, if you will. You will pronounce it correctly. Now, this Temple of Lightning is pretty cool, because this is one of the, this is the first elemental dungeon we're uh, like of the temples we're actually visiting. Um well I can't really say that either. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you one thing, and that is there's some mem there's a memory seal here. I don't have a memory gem though, don't be surprised. <laughs> um yeah, oh, we can electrify enemies, that's cool. Okay. Um, it seems to be an apparatus of some kind. Mm-hmm. Can't power it. Yet. This place seems to be very split up into different different parts. Where you can do different different things. Oh, well, that's an enemy. Great. Can we, can we enter? No? Okay. That was just a waste of time. Um, what was I saying again? We'll have to use the light from the lightning to confirm our path, or we'll fall off. If you're about to fall, tap the A button to hang on. Oh good, quick time event. That's great. <laughs> Should I put like a... Uh, a seizure warning or something uh, up on this? Because this is annoying my eyes even. And I don't... I don't have like... A pretty good eyesight, all things considered. Except I don't have depth perception. Which is lame. But hey, can't really do much about it. Okay, so let's see. What does this what what this do? Oh, I like how the block was just kind of floating there for no reason. Okay. Oh well. All right. This seems very very not dangerous. We also got an awesome X gem, so that's cool. <laughs> My goodness. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm just gonna tell you that much. Cause uh, this probably wouldn't end as well. I probably shouldn't have knocked that box. Oh, I could walk past. Okay, good. I was, wor I was worried there for a second that I blocked off the path, and it was just gonna be another awesome item over here. There we go. That was hard to hit for some reason. It's a Temple of Lightning, eh? How many Pikachus are in here, eh? Ha ha ha. Pokemon jokes. I'm clever. Not. Don't listen to the guy with the microphone. I got a dual helm, so I'm gonna equip that to Lloyd. Great! Move that shit down there. Do more dangerous stunts. Man, so it, these stunts are too extreme. I can't handle this. Thunder Scepter, that sounds awesome. Equip the terrain. Boom, boom, boom. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that was a huge difference compared to our previous item. Oh my goodness, you might actually be able to do some damage now. That's pretty insane considering we're talking about rain in the membrane. Uh, uh, spade. Cure, um,. Other things that rhyme with rain, is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so apparently when you put these things up, they get hit by lightning. We've discovered that much. And now I forgot what I was talking about before the battle. <laughs> Great. Alright, so let's get through this place quick. I don't, I don't particularly like this mechanic for many, many reasons. It doesn't really cost me a lot of trouble this far, like the falling off thing, but hey, you know... It's just annoying. It, it strains my eyes. Well, not really, but it's... It's like when a kid points a laser laser pointer at you. It's just annoying. It's not... It doesn't feel like it's dangerous or anything. It's just, you know... Can you please stop? That's pretty much how it feels. Yes, control the parrot and then be able to carry some... Uh, okay. So, it is not on. We've, we've established that much. There has also been a skit on this higher episode. Like in the corner of the screen, which has annoyed me, but hey. So if we go up all these stairs, what are we gonna find? Just a lot of yellow boxes? Like champagne boxes? Like orange boxes? Oranges are orange, shut up, also night. You don't know colors, okay? Banana boxes? Coin boxes? I gotta stop. Sun boxes? 
I don't know, man. Don't ask. So, like, please don't. Okay, so we're back here now. I guess. That's cool. Maybe not. I don't know. What is this dungeon? <laughs> when is this dungeon? How is this dungeon? Would this dungeon with a fox? Would this dungeon with a box? I have no clue what's going on here. Okay, so I'll see you when I figure out something out, I guess. See you then. Alright, so I went back down through the seizure, wa seizure warning room, and uh, apparently you can walk down to the water part here, and... Functor source rings changed. Now we shoot yellow lightning, which means we can destroy yellow boxes. Banana boxes. Sun boxes. Pea boxes. I'm gonna go destroy those, I guess. So, uh... I'll see you up again, over, over yonder. Alright, we're back up with the yellow boxes. Now we can destroy them. Does it matter? I don't know. Probably. These... Well, these things seem to be blocking some kind of electrical currents. Or cu currents? Is that a thing? Electrical currents? I don't know. They seem to be blocking some kind of electricity that we should probably be... Well, I'm blocked... Stuck between a bird and a stair place, I guess. Memory gem was found! G play that fanfare! Thank you, I'm starting to run out of fanfare ideas, I think. Uh, since there's been quite a lot of them recently. Which absolutely stuns me. Oh my goodness, I didn't even intend for that to be a pun. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm making puns not even trying anymore. That's great. This place is electrifying. I'm so shocked. I'm just getting all the electricity punts out of the way. This place makes my feet tingle. I don't know what's going on with this now, though, so... Uh, <laughs> I mean, we destroyed all the yellow boxes, so that's all good and fine and dandy. Did we Did we win anything? Did we gain anything from it? I mean, probably. I'm just, I just don't know what yet. What's down here? This is a seizure room, or seizure warning room, I should say. So, uh, let's see, can we do anything with this apparatus? No? Alright, then I presume we have to go back down again. See you there, or unless... Unless... No, we gotta go back. Alright, see you there. So if you go all the way back to this pillar room here, which isn't really too far behind other rooms that we're just in, uh, we can see... Hello, yellow boxes. I can't destroy two at once. That annoys me. What happens if we go up here? Crap! You know what? I needed to destroy that blue box. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta destroy this. You know, I'm learning a lot about nature and physics in this game, because I didn't know that lightning could come in more than one color. Great. Neither did I know that skeletons could be golden. Nor that, like, demonic swords of thunder demons could appear to slice me in half. Learning a lot, you know. Alright, let's go use our powers of basic color knowledge on this thing. And now we only lack the red one, which we can't destroy yet, because you can change the other thing of the water room. You can change the colors of the lightning. Oh, speaking of lightning. You can change the colors to blue and yellow, but you can't change it to red, which is why we need to reach that other one in the water room. Which is I guess is what we're do what we're doing now. Oh no, can't fall off, no. No. Okay. N no, not again. No, Frodo. Okay. Dane Crisis averted. Shit. Uh, <laughs> come on. No! Alright, we're back up here. Uh, I'm a no! Stop! Stoop! Uh, uh, I don't know why I have so much trouble in this room compared to the other ones, but oh well. Are you serious? Did I just go up here for gosh darn nothing? Come on! Might as well fall. And apparently when you fall, you get pooped out through this tube, so I guess it's some kind of shortcut, in a way. 
which is cool. So now that we have the yellow light, we can actually go back to the very first room here and destroy those yellow boxes, which... no. Alright, yellow boxes, destroy them. You, me, right now. Yo, yellow boxes, is you, it's me. Just a man versus boxes, and it contains a shining star, which is most definitely a weapon for genus. If there's some... yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely, no doubt about it. Like, if there's some kind of really vague, weird name, it's usually one of Genus's items. So, okay, let's go back. And looky here, what I found. If you go through, like, the seizure room on the right, you know, I'll show you on the way back, actually. If you go ahead and go up here, you can shoot down this thing, which means that one of those apparatuses can function, which is great. Okay, I'll show you where it is right now. Hold on. Let me just fall first. There we go. Alright, so I went up here and to the first room on the right. That's where I went. You can go ahead and destroy that yellow block there. And the apparatus over yonder should be working. To a certain... Oh, yep. Now we can... Um... Well, I mean... I, uh, I mean, I guess it does something. I just don't know what is, is the thing. So, there... Actually, can we open this also? I mean, that probably isn't a good idea, all things considered, because I'm in water. I should probably close that again with some afterthoughts. Um, so we need to get up there somehow, I guess. We're gonna have to do that in the next episode, though, because uh, I need to orientate myself a little bit in this dungeon. What better way to end an episode than use our memory gem and go ahead and watch us get. Yeah. Whoa, that was close. If we stay here too long, we're gonna get fried. It's electrifying. I wonder if the building itself is electrically charged. You are cert- Oh, that was Lloyd. Shit. Well, I guess I'm just gonna reverse the voices. But we haven't made the pact with the summon spirit. And that sucks. We need to find Vault quickly. Like, right now. Well, that was deep. It was too deep for me, man. I'm gonna tell you what. Alright, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.